Yeah, we're just discussing last night's Leeds Chelsea match. We should have beat them, shouldn't we? Yeah. Chelsea's gone. Yeah, we should have beat them. <laughs> Not bad for the championship side. We had them. Good morning, everyone. Everyone's had a nice weekend. Start another week here at Airdale. Set off early this morning, actually. I'm over at Lidget Green School. We've got a pre-start meeting here this morning. I'm just parked literally outside the main gates. Um, you've probably seen in previous videos where we've surveyed this. But I'm meeting Matty and uh, project manager Mike and the, uh, the main guy from the trust, David. This is part of another cooperative school trust job. So basically I'll turn it round. You might be able to see from here. You can just see them gates in the distance there. These Palisade gates. We're taking them out basically, renewing them and we're going to have some automated gates there that um, you see the barrier going up that barrier is actually coming out I don't know why uh, it makes sense to keep it to me but um, the barrier is coming out and basically we're hoping wiring is already there we're just going to chase the wiring up to here make the, obviously the gate automated with access control and everything and then we've just got to dig a digger trench from that one up to, they've got some existing gates behind me here, just a single gate um, and he's going to get it access control on that one I think that's the main pedestrian one where everyone comes in probably going to be doing this uh, last couple of days maybe Thursday Friday this week probably take the old ones out dig the new ones in post leave them to set uh, we'll probably hang the gates Friday and dig the trench and everything for Matt get the ducting in um, ready for him and then he'll probably come next week and uh, you know get it wired up and everything and the um, controllers and everything that they need inside the school and teach them how to do it so yeah and I think from here I'm just having a look in fact I'll, before you go I could probably look on my calendar I thought I would go to another school but I'm at, oh no, I, I just remembered the uh, I was going to go from here to uh, Salby Bridge, but he, uh, he said, can we make it another day? So I'm actually going to uh, Morley after here, actually, uh, my furniture place. Uh, the lads are over at uh, Islandwood Primary School, where we previously worked, and I actually used to go there as a nipper. That was my first school originally in Leeds 16, Cookridge. Seems weird when I go back there now many moons ago so yeah there on with that probably two three days this week uh, I think there's 40 odd meters a gate and some goal posts that they've got that they want, install, they want us to install it whilst we're there should be interesting it look like they've been laid on floor a couple of years so whether all the bits are there is another thing so yeah we'll get some footage as we go along and we'll catch you later so we're just getting down to the gate now looking nice replace that old wooden fence up here Oh, one more panel gates going in and then it's just a case of reattaching this button and then panel to end. Oh, a bit of a different one for us today. Um, we did the fencing yesterday and this is what we're doing today. Some goal posts and got nets on. These are ones what they had on site. So it's first time any of us have done these so we're just figuring it out. Right. Islandwood Primary School. It's the first one for us this, isn't it? Been a bit of a bit of a job, but never done it before. Hardest thing we were just figuring out how it goes. The lads are just filling holes now. Nice little goals for them. They said they were quoted about five grand to fit these. And they cost uh, they cost five grand each, apparently these these little bits of kit, so it's quite a bit of money that. But yeah, I've already done tarmacking on that. Did a bit of work right, right around the other side at school, but well, I'll show you once we go around. We're just going to adjust this gate, what we put in last time, just to give it a bit more freeness for them. And then, yeah, we're out of here. Oh, good morning. It's time that well. Kids look like they've come back from PE or whatever on bus. I'm just over in Salby Bridge, actually, a small little school here. Um, basically, I've just measured up and there's literally 50 metres of fencing. Take this old stuff down here and it goes all the way down, bottom down there. 
about 50 metres and probably going to get steel palisade with it being on the hill uh, some, they must have had other fences out because they've suggested that so um, yeah it's just going to be 50 metres down 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 that hill um, it's quite an easy job really probably just uh, cut the old fencing down uh, either they want the option 1.8 and 2 metres good morning cold one over here I'm just over at Braithwaite, top of Keefler, by the middle of nowhere. Yeah, well, I'm just at Phoenix School actually, we've done loads here before, we've done some round back of there, we've done some repairs, but basically I've just come to see these big entrance gates here, they want automating, and then at the side of them some, some access control gates for, well actually a double at the minute, but they want it making to just a single. So yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll get on with Matt with this one and uh, see what I can do. I've took a bit of a video of what's needed, so hopefully I can price that no problem. We're just loading up and see we've got digger on everything, uh, legit green. Just go and take some old gates out and renew with ours. Um, and then we've got to do a bit of trenching for the, uh, Matt's uh, electric cable, so he's going to automate them next week. Justin's got the big gates on his over there. So yeah, by the time you finish, you've got a full van and we're just saying we don't need much. Then we'll have to go and get us ballast and cement. And so yeah, we'll have to go and drop these off and then I've got a show them job and then I've got a shoot back. So I've got a, uh, a meeting with my accountant coming actually. Uh, 10, half past 10 I think it is. So I'll quickly get over there and show them. Uh, problem is we can't really do anything till nine o'clock. So kids will be going in at staff, so yeah. So yeah, I'll get off, we'll get loaded up and we'll get over there. Yeah, we're just discussing last night's Leeds Chelsea match. We should have beat them, shouldn't we? Chelsea's gone. Yeah, we should have beat them. <laughs> Not bad for the championship side, we had them. But yeah, anyway, we're just over here at uh, Legit Green. Lads are just setting up here, as you can see. Luckily, they've got two nice Big massive paths at side. Somebody's put radio on for me to do a video, yeah? So basically, we're just taking these palisade gates down, renewing them with some nice new mesh ones, uh, and then that's coming next week to automate them. But um, we've got digger to dig some nice big holes, get loads of concrete, and then we've got a trench up to that. So that's getting automated. The trench both sides up to gates. Uh, a couple of days hopefully should be done but yeah this one's getting um, access control as well on here we'll probably put a buzzer thing there one of them's going to be a slave gate but uh, the lads have got a trench all the way down there to so hopefully power comes up there so yeah should be a good one for us and uh, we'll get some videos as they go along here we are legit green primary school as a duck first all gates are out. Jamie's got his IVs on. That's uh, that post will be coming out next, it's already loose. Coming down, we're doing some trenching, some automated gates. And up there. Uh, Airedale fencing, here's Jamie. Here he is. Get off me! <laughs> and what is going on? Uh, he don't want to be on video, he's crying. Uh, posts are in. Our time out top, trench is already dug in, all the way to the bottom, two there, going to the top, post in, just tie it up, leave it nice and tidy, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. So trenching's all done here at Legit Green Primary School, so we've got one what goes up to that gate, runs down there, lads have trimmed it all back, gardeners as well, as fences. So all the way up there, then we've got another one what comes up here, stops there, pipes off, goes back in, exactly the same there, stops where the sensor's gonna be, all the way back down and as you can see it's up there and then you'll be able to see one just here as well it's coming out there lads are about tank gate and just finish out little bits off friday they'll be done at 11 o'clock shall it be a pub by 12. so yeah looking good we'll get out of here right as far as fridays go we've uh, we've done pretty well with them uh so it's carla's new lad this is uh his first set of doubles gone in like a dream connected these two policies.
panels back up to them. Yeah, there's someone trying to get in. The, the, the bad weather's come now and we've just beat it, so we dug all this first thing because we knew it's sleeting now. We've got all this trenched up here, so as you know, that one's getting automated and these are getting automated by Mac Monday, so. Right, we're getting back in, man, so you can see the weather's coming. So yeah, we're gonna peg these back because uh, there's no drop down bolts on them. And uh, that's it for another week. So we'll see you Monday. Oh, well, it forecast it and it's come down. It's absolutely bouncing it down as usual. Flipping wagon came. Oh, it's absolutely chucking it down. A wagon came absolutely loaded with fencing um, that I've had to unload it rain. Yeah, lovely. Um, so anyway, I've just done that. So that's us. We've had enough. Lads have actually got done where they're going. Carl's just finishing a gate. He shouldn't be long. Um, in fact, I said, sod it, we'll call it a day. He's meant to be going camping. Can you believe it? Uh, we'll call it a day. We've had enough. We're all wet, miserable, cold. So that's us for Friday. Another good week at Airdale. Lots done. Um, if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up, why not subscribe while you're here, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.